He's a San Francisco based composer. He died maybe uh, eight or ten years ago. And uh, maybe most of my friends have heard the story, but I'm going to tell it anyway about uh, how I you know, came in contact with um, the music of the arts. And there's a lot of it. Well, I had just discovered uh, Bill Evans uh, played a number of his pieces. He played How My Heart Sings, and he played uh, Mother of Earl and Elsa, and, uh, and uh, Lullaby for Helene. And I, I think I'd heard most of those songs. Then uh, I was in the bookstore, and I was just uh, sitting at the uh, sitting at the desk that used to be there. And this young girl came in the th in the door, and and uh, I was playing Bill Evans on a tape recorder, and uh, it was before CDs, I think even. And uh, this, uh, she said, "How nice that uh, somebody's playing the music of Bill Evans, and not uh, uh, how nice to be in Vermont and hear Bill Evans." And, and I said. Uh, how nice that you know who Bill Evans is. It's really great. And, uh, and she said, my father used to work with Bill Evans. And I said, what uh, what instrument did your father play? And she said, uh, well, he was really more of a composer. And I said, your father's not Earl Zinders. And she said, yes, and he was. And then, uh, so I had just discovered who he was. And I thought that was kind of an amazing thing. And I, I gave her anything she wanted. <laughs> she, uh, we, um, I'm still in touch with her. And uh, she called her dad the next day and said, there's a man in Vermont who knows your music. Was, he, he, was not, he wasn't a really famous person or a well-known composer. And I think, in a way, it is a little it, I, I felt a little familiarity because I, I write these songs and I don't know if anybody, I play them for my friends and I don't know if anybody else hears them ever. So, so I felt, you know, so, but I thought the, the, the music of Earl Zinders was a little bit, of, not a little bit, it was ahead of me. And it was um, not in the same groove as traditional jazz. He was a, a per classical uh, Percussionist, he played with the San Francisco, San Francisco Symphony and other groups in in California, and he, that was really how he made his living was as a percussionist. And he wrote music for uh, uh, piano and art. He wrote art songs, piano and voice, and he wrote things for brass bands, and he wrote some symphonic pieces. And they're all really interesting, and they're, they're uh, you wouldn't know it's the same guy some of the times. And we're, we're, well, as the evening goes on or the afternoon goes on, I'll, we'll say a little bit more about it. But I've always had the thing I was just uh, saying to Lama. I don't know. Uh, uh, wonder what will happen to somebody like this. What will his reputation uh, be? You know, it's not like uh, he's outside of the jazz tradition, even though Bill Evans sort of welcomed him in. That uh, what will um, has he played in universities where they teach music? And uh, you know what what would make uh, what would, make, what would go to make a reputation? And music, music uh, is interesting to me, and, and you'll have to see if it's interesting to you or not. He said, it's kind of, you'll, you'll find out. And so we're gonna start with a, a song called Elsa that I learned from um, uh, this girl who came into my bookstore that, that, that was her mother's name. That was uh, Earl Zender's daughter. And the, so the song's called Elsa. Sonny, is, is his name spelled with Z-A-N-D-E? Z-I-N-D-A-R-S. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I thought I might have found him on Spotify, so he might be out there. <laughs> All right.
called The Return.
masterpiece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next we're gonna do is a, a sort of a, another well-known tune, relatively well-known tune called Mother of Aura. And this has a nice story. Uh, uh, Bill Evans and Earl Zinders were in the army and they're both in the music uh, part of the army and they were sitting around, they were killing time as the story that I read goes, and sitting around a table and they decided to have a contest. There was three, Bill Evans and Earl Zinders and another person who I don't know, and they said, who can write the best tune in an hour? And we were, uh, nobody had any instruments, we just had uh, manuscript paper. And uh, everybody agreed that Earl Zinders won the contest, just hands down. And, it, uh, and Bill Evans went around playing the tune, and he said, have you heard this tune? It's just a mother of the a tune that Earl Zinders heard. And it, it, it gradually got that title. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it is a great song. So we'll get to play it for you now. <laughs> No, just I said that label could have went both ways, you know. I said that label could have went both ways. It was a compliment or a, uh, not a compliment.
That's a great tune. It's a really great tune. But Bill the Evans one we had just a, played? Yeah. It's uh, pretty cool, isn't uh, it? Yeah. Had Hard a, to uh, learn. I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this music is not jazz. In the, we have the Encyclopedia of Jazz in the room tonight, uh, Mark, and he knows everything about bebop and whole. This stuff is really complicated for jazz musicians. And we, because Sonny loves the music so much, and we thought we would do a concert playing it, but it's not our normal shtick, is it? It's kind of different from what we normally do. It really is a little yeah. different. But uh, I think it has a place. Yeah. The, uh, the next song we're going to do is, yeah, no, it's interesting to see how it, how it fits in and where it doesn't fit in and where it makes you realize, well, what, it, what is this tradition that it's not a part of? You know, what is this, <laughs> or, or is it a part of it? The uh, so this next tune we're going to play is called Little Evan, and uh, Bill Evans named uh, his son Evan. So when he was uh, they were hanging out together, I think Earl wrote this song uh, in honor of Bill Evans' son Evan. Uh, little Evan, Evan Evans. <laughs>
listening to this program. I've got a song now that's, uh, he was, I guess, somebody that uh, uh, was doing some of this uh, mixed meters uh, things a, a long time ago and very casually. And he said that, he said that song with three, three, four, and then there's a bridge in four, four, and, and there's sometimes there's a part in five, four. And, and it, it, this is a, a song that's an example of that type of st style of writing called Heads or Tails. So do you like three or do you like four? And it goes, it goes back and forth.
heads or tails? Oh, I like them a lot. I want to thank uh, Teo Zagar and uh, WCTV uh, in Woodstock Community uh, Television, which oh. is making a recovery of uh, coming back. <laughs> so if anybody has ideas about uh, recording and uh, and listening, they're on. If you have cable TV, they're at 1080 is their number. And they're on, uh, this is going to be on YouTube as well. So, and they're in thank Woodstock. You. Where, where are you, is it in the old sheriff's? Yeah, the old sheriff's. just down the road here, yeah. The old, the old uh, jail. The old jail. <laughs> 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 That's right. We've transformed it. Yeah. <laughs> so if this comes out good, I'm going to send it to Earl, send to his daughter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Helene, Hill <Hillary. laughs> So this is, um, I'm going to play, uh, I always think of you.
interested in playing these songs uh, when it calls it calls for some different stuff from uh, <coughs> me I don't uh, usually I, I wind up playing uh, light melodies while Peter's playing the solo and I usually <laughs> wouldn't I do that I play about chords and blocks and leave space for the bass player so then I, I never think about it. I should do that the music just seemed to say oh that would be nice you know so it's, uh, but it, it works it works nice does that have a, a like a Latin kind of beat to it? It's what the it sounds sound like a kind of a, a Cuban yeah. kind of yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, so a Brazilian. Okay, <laughs> and it sounds a little bit like the shadow of your smile. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. The beginning is something mm -hmm. like that. So it's, I'm not sure whether we should uh, play play another and take a break, or you want to play everything in a row and uh, be done, or. <laughs> Australian Let's ballad. do one more and decide the, what we're going to do. You, you like yeah. the break idea? Let's do one more and take a break. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll easily influenced. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do um, three times around Silverado's kind of a set? Silverado's next. Uh, or yeah, do you want to you'd rather do the other one? Yeah. It's kind yeah, of let's do that then. Which one? Okay. Silverado. Hello. 64. 64 Silver. in your hymnal. Bam. Uh, Bam.
have about three tunes left. Just thank you for staying. And um, I hope, you know, we hope that you enjoyed the music. We, we have been rehearsing once a week for two years. Two years? <laughs> We're still rehearsing once a week, which is, otherwise I don't think we would be able, if somebody just threw this music in front of us and the three, a, we wouldn't be able to play it because it's too, it's very complicated. It's not traditional jazz. Those of you who've been here before know we do a lot of Coltrane and we honor the bebop players and we do some of Sonny's originals. Tim's got some beautiful music he's written for us. But this is really out out of our normal stuff. So thank you for joining us. Well, it's beautiful thank music. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs>
pretty, pretty. Yeah. And then uh, Positively Orange. It's another great title. Yeah. Uh, it has nothing to do with Trump, does it? <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, negatively Orange. One time I, I learned that it was Earl Zinder's <laughs> birthday, and I, I sent him, uh, I got flowers, and uh, from in California, somebody came up with all, all orange flowers. So I sent him a bouquet of wow. these guys. <laughs> and he, uh, fortunately, he thought it was funny, and I got it. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many times you do it, Pete? Winter's still coming. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Uh, want to do a lullaby for Helene sure. or just have a closing number? It's a short song in honor of that, uh, you know, Helene, who uh, I met and got me interested in this stuff. The, uh, when she was a little girl, her father wrote this uh, lullaby, cradle song, lullaby for Helene. One, two, three, four. 